you are well physically, spiritually, in your soul, in your mind, in your emotions. We're really praying that Alive Church as a people are well and healthy and whole. And it's great to be gathered together virtually every day at 12 noon to pray and declare the Lord's Prayer. It helps us get our perspective right to remind ourselves of who God is and who to whom we belong. So we're gonna read the Lord's Prayer together. Then I've got a scripture that I'd love to declare over us. And scripture's a great way of getting our perspective back. And then I've got some prayer points that I'd love to lead us in this afternoon. So let's posture ourselves before God. Maybe you wanna place your hand on your heart. You might wanna kneel. You might wanna open your hands or close your eyes, however you connect to God. And let's declare the Lord's Prayer together. So, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I don't know about you, but if I need to get my perspective back, getting my head into the word of God, and declaring who he is, that his is the kingdom, the power and the glory helps me to re-establish my perspective. So there's some prayer points that I'd love to come on to, but first let me read to you from Joel. And Stuart's done a great job at taking us through the book of Joel. And here we are at Joel 2, 21 to 23. And it says this, Be not afraid, O land. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the Lord has done great things. Be glad, O people of Zion, rejoice in the Lord your God. And we know that, don't we? That when we get our head in the word and when we worship and declare who he is, we get our perspective back. So I wanna pray for us today. God, I pray for my friends and for the body of Christ, specifically a live church today. And we pray that we'd be a people of perspective. May our perspective not come from the world or from the news or from the reports, but may it come from your word of who you are, that you are in charge and that it's your kingdom that it is come, your kingdom that's coming and your will that will be done. So I pray, God, that we could get a perspective of praise, a perspective of worship, and we could even in these times declare the good things that you've done. Thank you, God, that you give us eyes to see. May we see what you, you see, God, and may we pray accordingly. And we declare again, yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and forever. Amen. And we're praying that you have a great sense of perspective in this season. Bless you.